In this video I'm going to look at something called uh, acoustic impedance. Now the idea of impedance is that if a wave is traveling through a material and it encounters another material with very similar impedance then there won't be much of a reflection from that material. Most of the wave will be transmitted through a material. So whenever a wave uh, encounters an interface between two different materials with different impedances then there will always be part of the wave that is reflected and part of the wave that's transmitted. Okay. And so if there's, a, if there's no difference in, or if there's very little difference in acoustic impedance, then most of the wave will be transmitted through that boundary. But if there's a large difference in acoustic impedance, then only a small amount will be transmitted and most of the wave will be reflected from the boundary. Okay, and so this can be, um, you do want some reflections to come from the boundaries, otherwise you can't really image them using ultrasound. But this can be bad if you have uh, something that has a very large uh, difference in acoustic impedance, you get a big reflection from that and um, it looks like a real bright spot on the screen and you get no signal from beyond that that area. So if we'll look at uh, we'll look at how to calculate acoustic impedance in this uh, in this problem. So if I look at acoustic impedance, it has the um, uses the symbol Z, and if uh, and that has the units for acoustic impedance that has units of rails. and that's equal to the density in kilograms per cubic meter times the speed of propagation of sound in the media which is meters per second and units of meters per second. So let's take a look at an example. So for example muscle tissue has a density equal to uh, approximately 1,080 1,080 kilograms per cubic meter and it has a speed of propagation of approximately 1,572 meters per second. So I can uh, figure out the impedance of the muscle tissue by taking the uh, density times the speed of propagation and so that's equal to 1080 kilograms per cubic meter times 1572 meters per second and bring over the calculator. I have 1080 times 1572 and so that comes out to be equal to 1,692,000 760. And uh, the units are kilograms. If I just look at the units, I have kilograms in the numerator, meters in the numerator, and meters cubed in the denominator. So one of those is going to cancel one of these. So that cancels. And then seconds in the denominator. So I have kilograms, meters squared per second. And in place of that we're going to write uh, use the units of rails. Okay, 
And then another thing we'll do is we'll replace use a metric prefix on this. So if we move the decimal place over one, two, three, four, five, six places, this comes out to be approximately 1.7 mega rails. So capital M is metric prefix meaning one million. And so that's uh, so the impedance of muscle tissue is approximately 1.7 mega rails. Okay.